Hello. Ah, look who came to visit. My little kitty. Hello, little kitty. Hello. This is Gordon, everybody. Here's Gordon. He wants to be in the middle of the action. Hello, Gordon. Isn't that funny? He's, he wants to be right in the middle of it all. So here's one of them. The other one's at my feet. There's Gordon. He's a pretty cat. Yeah. Isn't that funny? He just jumped right up here. He's never done that before. So uh, we're getting ready for our night here. But uh, he just jumped up, and I thought I would let him be a superstar tonight. Hey, buddy. He's such a funny kitty cat. They're getting so old. These, he, he, uh, Gordon has been with me. He loves that on the head. You know that? Do you guys have cats? You can, how long are you going to stay here? Are you going to let me draw the night? Ah! Of course, of course he's got to play with the pencil, right? There we go. Oh, yeah. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Well, he's Gordon. Yeah, I'm glad you got to finally meet Gordon. Gordon is, uh, he's the guy who, uh, sleeps, he like, sleeps on my knee or near my knee and my, and then Flash sleeps on my feet and I'm there, I'm allergic to him and I shouldn't be petting him right now because I'm going to start sneezing during the webcast. Hey, buddy. And, uh, this is funny. He's just right up here. Well, this is, uh, let me see here. My cat steals my pencils. Can you believe how long he's, he, come on. Are you going to let me draw? What are you going to do? Are you just, you just, you just going to sit here the whole time, huh? Okay, go, come on. You got to go. We got to draw. I love you, but you got to go. Here we go. God, you're getting heavy. All right, here, go off and be a cat. All right, well, that, that would look at this fur everywhere. I wonder why I'm sneezing all the time. My goodness gracious. All right, well, there's Flash. Should I bring Flash up here? Flash just ran out. All right, they ran out. Well, welcome to our day. Today is day number... Oh, you have five cats out. Yeah, we have two. They're just... I never thought I was a cat person until, until those guys worked their way into my heart. So today is day 133. And uh, this is... Uh, we're going to draw a, um, a wall scroll. We're going to draw a wall, like a scroll. I guess I'll just call it that, a wall scroll. Oh. Now, I'm going to move this. Now, you guys got to let me know. Like, I had to... My, what I see here, and when I watch the recording, it's different, the wall scroll. Uh, maybe it's the wall pronouncement, the wall scroll pronouncement, proclamation. Let's do that. The Raw School Proclamation. And uh, this is from this book right here. This is from uh, Drawing in 3D with Mark Kessler. It's a really great book. Look at this. There's, there's, uh, it's very thick. Real thick here. And there's uh, 333. If you guys don't, do you guys have this? Oh, Daniel, I love you too. I love you guys, man. You guys are awesome. I love you. I love you, man. It's a great, great movie, by the way. Drawing in 3D, Mark Kissler. Who has that book? Anybody have that book? Well, we're going to go. We're going to draw this guy right here. It's called Good Grade, but it's really, it's almost like Dirk's Declaration. If you go back to D, I have another one called Dirk's Declaration. Here it is. See the wall scroll here? Isn't that cool? And Dirk's Declaration. So or, so this is cool. So the raw, we're going to draw, we're going to draw this wall scroll right here, Okay. And it's, so we've done scrolls before, but we're just to keep doing variations of scrolls. I really, really enjoy them. So let's draw it. So before we go on, oh, oh, here comes the sneezing now. What did I tell you? As soon as I, as soon as I turn that, that uh, camera on, my nose goes nuts. All right, here we go. Of course, I haven't found my microphone, uh, my microphone, uh, you know, that flip microphone that was on my ear earpiece so I could mute it. So we're going to just go. All right. So we're, uh, I think we'll use this also for the every night, every night live with me because we're kind of transitioning from every drawing, one drawing every day to 
Every Night Live with me, Mark Kistler. Who? So we're going to just draw like a little uh, wall declaration stating that. All right, so let's go ahead and put a vertical line and a sub. I know, I have got to get that mute button. This is just embarrassing. All right, so I'm drawing a, a vertical line, and then I'm going to, uh, on the uh, up here, I'm going to curl this down. We're going to draw the, the uh, scroll, kind of bouncing along the wall here. Then I'm, this will be tacked along the wall, and then this will curl up down here at the bottom. Do a little curl down here, okay? Now, using this idea, see, this this is all lined up. The, the vanishing points here, and if you look here, you can see that all these lines line up to this one point. But we're just going to draw this one part. But this is this still is a good explanation for the word size. This is larger and it gets smaller. See, larger, smaller, closer, farther away. So that's a really good definition of that. And I loved uh, Dan Frega's uh, explanation of size and proportion and uh 3d basically that illusion so we're just we're, we're this is near things are larger it's going away this is direction northwest it's got tapers more uh definitely above and below your eye point and then i'm gonna curve these ends see this curve this this curves more coming down here curve this see now this is where my field of vision ends my field of vision ends right here now, does yours go lower? I'm trying to figure out exactly what my, because it's different on my screen and your screen. So right now, this is my, this is the end. I can see that line, now I can't see it. So now, where is, where is yours? Where does yours end? Do you see that line right there? How much further below? I'm trying to figure this out so that I'm gonna focus it. Uh, so you see, do you see about right there? Or do you see the end, do you see uh, the second line? I'm just trying to figure this out. So I have one line, I have two lines, I have three lines. How many lines do you see below it? Well, that helps me, okay. Very cool. Oh, I see with numbers. All right, so we have one, two, three. Which one is... So you see the first one? Do you see the second one? Oh, you don't even see the first one, huh? Interesting. So everybody, I guess, has a different one. Interesting. Okay, well, thank you for helping me with that. I was just watching the recording last night, and it was like this. It, it was like I was up here, but I saw all my table, and I thought, oh, my gosh, that's crazy. So this will help me. Okay, so now watch this. I'm not going to come straight down. I'm going to move in just a bit. Look at the visual logic. If this, if this is the scroll and I'm going to make it all lumpy, I'm going to make a rip in it right here. I'm just going to make it a lumpy paper, old paper scroll. I'm going to draw the thickness of the lines all coming down this way. You can put a couple wrinkles in the top. A wrinkle. No, I'm going to offset the wrinkles. I'm not going to put the wrinkles. I'll put maybe a wrinkle here, and they come over and put maybe one down here. But I don't want to put the wrinkles exactly opposite. This is. I'm going to kind of offset the wrinkles. I'll do the same thing down here. Put a wrinkle here, and another wrinkle here. Kind of poof it up. But again, I don't want to offset it. I don't want to do it exactly. So I'll, I'll just kind of see what I did. I put one wrinkle at the bottom. Now over here, I'm gonna move this in about that much, move this in, because see the thickness kind of moves this. This You have to look at the logic of the paper roll. Follow that uh, that line in here, see? It's gonna curve a little bit, exaggerate a little bit more, and I make it really jagged. I'm gonna find that mute button, I'm gonna buy a new microphone, I tell you. All right, now. Uh, on this one, we have a really cool shadow back here. See that shadow? So I'm going to put the shadow back. And this is on page 85. It's a great book to get, by the way. Or you should order that from Amazon. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. Of course, you can pre-order right here. 
here, support. This is kind of our social funding to self-produce this. This is how we're going to publish it by uh, so, uh, our social media. Um, go ahead, pre-order the book. You can throw on 30 seconds. And also, if you guys are anywhere near any of my summer camp locations, I really hope you you'll, you guys sign up or sign your kids up. Sign up your friends and family. I'm going to put a shadow back here. Uh, Portland, I'm going to be up near Portland. I'll be in Missoula, Montana. I'll be in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'll be in uh, Houston, Texas, and Sugarland area, then also in Spring Woodlands area. And uh, I'll be in... Uh, I'll be in Roswell, New Mexico. Roswell. Coming up in just a couple. Fort Wayne, Indiana. I'm going to be at the Fort Wayne, Indiana Museum of Art. If you're anywhere near Fort Wayne, come on down. Go on my website and sign up for my class. It's going to be so much fun. Here's my website right here. MarkKisser.com. Hey, follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't, take a look at that. That wonderful posting on... Uh, oh, goodness gracious. What's the name of that? Um, that, uh, oh, you miss Comic Palooza. Oh, I live, I live in Tomball. I'm in Tomball, Texas right now. I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm driving to Houston tomorrow morning, taking my son to, uh, a checkup with the doctors. So, yep, I live here. I live here in our rainy, rainy, often flooded city. Uh, juxtapose. Thank you, Lisa. Can you, can someone post that? I want you guys to see it. And we, we got the just the nicest comments from so many people I'm waiting for the sh other shoe to drop because every single comment's been so bent. wonderful. It's like, oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And we tried to re respond to everybody. That uh, must have had a 1,000 comments. I guess it's not sure how many. It's an online magazine, uh, I guess. It's uh well now it's my favorite magazine because it featured me and it said some really wonderful things about the secret city and me so I love it it's 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 my favorite it's a it's fantastic it's a very important publication it featured me how's that for being self serving <laughs> love it yeah, that's right go out get your copy of juxtaposed today you want to see something really cool look at my Instagram posting you guys. And you want to see a picture of me from my college days? There's a really funny picture. Was I ever that young? I looked like a, a someone from the Bee Gees. I was definitely, I was definitely into that the Bee Gees. Uh, I wasn't really into it, but I liked, I liked their uh, the um, what was that? Their theme music. Uh, of course, you know John Travolta, and I liked the hairstyles. Look at my hairstyle back in. Oh my goodness, that was just, that was before the Secret City. I was at San Diego State University. Pretty darn cool. All right, so shade, shade, shade. Look at my, uh, look at that picture from San Diego State University. Now, I was hanging out with all, all my friends were from San Diego State Youth Symphony in the picture. That was a picture taken by Jonathan Hayward, who played the bassoon with the symphony. And, uh, a dear friend of mine, Holly Christmas, played the violin, and Kylie Christmas played the viola or the cello, and uh, uh, Frank uh, Garcia played the, or still does the the, the clarinet, I, I believe it was, and then the other picture guy in the picture is, uh, um, oh, he played the French horn. He's, Oh my goodness! I'm sorry. He baked. He made mashed potatoes in my house every day for six months. So we had the best mashed potatoes. Um, uh, oh goodness gracious! What is his name? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm gonna think of like. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. Uh, the, the Maryland Public Television. Um, well, I'll remember it. Just take a look at the picture, Frank. Frank and John, Frank and John. Okay, they're in the picture there. Take a look at it. It's on my Instagram. It's also on Facebook. Now, I was going to put inside here, I was going to put the lettering of Every Night Live. So then I just put lines for the text. See, it's all coming down here, right? Every Night Live. So you, would, I would write every, right? Then I'm going to darken it in. 
night, every night live. Bam, and I go with me. So we'll darken that in. And uh, this does not exclude the idea that I'm gonna try to do some of these earlier webcasts. Do you guys like that? Do you like the new theme song? Theme song, it, do you like the new, you could tell them. You, this is great, you get me when I'm punchy every day, right? Every night live, woo. Every night live with Mr. Sniffles, with Mr. Allergies, who has two cats because he's totally insane. With me, woo. All right, well, there you go. That's kind of a fun, we gotta put tax in here, right? I'm gonna draw a line and draw a nail right here. On the other side, you'll see like a nail coming over here. And then over here, I'm gonna put like a nail right there. And then this one, I'm gonna put a nail coming out right here. So it's right there on the paper. You can see how it's tacked to the wall, right? Well, there we go. You guys did great. I'm gonna go ahead and sign my name. You sign your name. Thanks for drawing with me. I love you. Take care of each other. And I will see you guys on the next episode of Every Night Live. Woo! There's markkisser.com, Instagram right here. Follow me on Twitter and I repost this on YouTube. And I'll see you on uh, day number 134. Bye, everybody.